Roosevelt, stand up. This is the story of how in 1997, I took an open call and made it into a 16 year career. Block the block, my adrenaline. Rise to those battlefield certified, I done paid you. My adrenaline, my drive not stop. What you call me? Wise man told me a long time ago, when you try hard and you put your best foot forward, always have positive results. And that's what I did. Kept my head up and stayed focused. And this is my story. In 1997, I was released from Broad River Correctional Institution in Columbia, South Carolina. The night before I was released, I told myself, I said, self, you've given almost 10 years of your life to incarceration. Between jail and between prison time, it's almost added up to 10 years. And I made an oath to myself at that time that I would never come back to prison again. One of my friends told me before I got out, he said, well, it's only two things right now that I feel like are the biggest money makers. And he said, that's marijuana and that's the black market business. When I came home, those are the only two options that I had. And those are the two options that I ventured out for. Once you get in trouble and you become a product of the system, you start getting incarcerated, it's a wrap. Society doesn't really respect you anymore. They don't look at it like you made a mistake. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't judge it that way. So I went to New York and I left Columbia, South Carolina to meet up with some Jamaicans that I knew. And I knew that they would have the best prices for me and they would have the best thing for me. So when I went to New York, one of my friends, my man Dog, you know, he forced me to go out. We got, in the, we got in the whip and I'm driving. So I went to take out a CD to put in another CD and a song came on the radio that we didn't have on CD. So we rocked to the song for a minute and right when I went to put the CD in, a commercial came on the radio and it jumped out inside the car and it was to the effect of, yo, you think you got what it takes to be in the business? Well, Hype Williams wants to meet you. New feature film, bomb, 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 bomb. So at that moment, I said, yo, a film? My adrenaline, my drive not stop. Street gang battle test to spread my name, block the block. My adrenaline, rise to the top. The day I went to the open call, I actually made it there at the last moment because there was a sister that came outside and said, this is the last call. Anybody that is auditioning today, this is the last call. And I slipped the paper in my back pocket and I tried to retreat. And that's when the sister popped up again and said, hey, hey, excuse me, aren't you auditioning? And I said, nah, 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 I, I was just bringing, bringing my man because I actually brought one of, my, one of my cousins with me. So I was like, nah, I was just bringing him. And then she gave me the... So the sister says, look, I know what you are and I know what you do. And if you keep doing what you do, you're going to go back where you've been or you're going to go somewhere where you can't come back from. And a chill went through my body and I froze. And at that moment, there was the street, and it was the business.
was one of the biggest decisions I ever made in my life. Because now that it's 2013 and I can reflect back to that moment, it's incredible because the subliminal message was, yo, Michael, here's the street and here's what got you everything that you got. This is, this is what got you stabbed. This is what got you shot. This is what got you incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? Because there's two feelings that I don't like. It's the feeling of them telling you to turn around and when they put cuffs on you, there is a moment of, it's game over. And there is a moment of, I'll be out of here tomorrow. I didn't want that feeling no more. That hurts, you know what I'm saying? The open call consists of the director, Hype Williams, which if they showed me 20 people, I wouldn't have known who Hype Williams was. And the writer, Anthony Bowden. They both were there. And you proceed to the X, and they spar with you. They just felt you out. And the first question was, was, what's up? Where you from? I said, peace. My name Mike Kell. I'm from the Velt. I'm from Roosevelt, L.I., Nassau. They was like, okay, okay. What do you do? I said, I hustle. So they, they kind of like gigged on me, like, you hustle? Like, everybody hustle. What you mean you hustle? I was like, yo, I get money. It was like, what you mean you get money? How, how you getting money? I said, I'm down south getting money. My whole life I've been down south getting money. Next thing you know, we had a few things in common. And all of a sudden, I heard them say, yeah, I like him. So they put the thumb up, and they told me to go this way. The whole time I was there, like, nobody went that way. Everybody went that way. So, you know, the whole production team, which was like, they were all, you know, delighted. They took several pictures of me from different angles. And I'm like, wow. I went from mug shots, like, you know, to like production shots. Like, I mean, people were taking multiple pictures of me. And they gave me some lines and they said, look, you're gonna learn these lines and you're gonna come to this address for the audition. And the paper said, congratulations, you've been selected to audition for Hype Williams film Belly. So my first audition went very, very well. And I was selected for a second audition. And then a third audition. And then a fourth audition. And the phone call came. So my pager goes off, and it's a casting director calling me. It says, hey, Mikael, would you be interested in doing a video for Jay-Z? I was like, wow. She said, yeah, the song is called Hard Knock Life, and I need some basketball players. I was like, wow. I was like, Jay-Z? Sure. And that video put us really on like the map. So right after I did that video, I got a phone call for DMX's video. I said, Rough Rider Anthem, that's my joint. So it was like, stop, drop, you know, I was like, yeah, that's my joint. So they said, we're doing a fictitious basketball scene where y'all gonna be at the Rucker. So when I started in this game, it was belly, it was straight up. Cameron, Horse and Cabbage. And I went into the DMX video and I went to the Jay-Z video. Those four projects showed me, Michael, you can take this game over. This is you. I was considered what you call a live dude. I'm from New York. I grew up in a hard knock era where it's strictly real. When I grew up, you had to be a thug. You couldn't front like you was a thug. You couldn't be a tough guy. You couldn't, you couldn't get, get away with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not proud of what I did. I just grew up around a time when there was no opportunities available. There were not too many things to do. So I was brought up around in, in individuals that was like, you have to be an entrepreneur. So those four projects showed me the game. And they let me know I can do this. And, and with the mind of a leader and, and with Powerful, I just... Smashed. I just went off. I said, yo, I'm going to do this. 
And my grandmother, God bless her soul, Lena Bell, always told me, be one hour early. She said, when you one hour early, you are on time. And I said, I'm gonna make sure I'm on time. And that, being on time, helped me get so much. And I started just doing videos, movies. I did the movie Ice Grill, you know, and that was big for me. Ice Grill was major. It took over New York. It was just so many opportunities and I took advantage of everything. I went pedal to the metal. I was diligent. I was resilient. I was hungry. You know, I wanted to show my friends and family, you know, I wanted to show myself. I was proud. Oh, shit. This is the one of all the ones. This is the one, son. Check it out, that bitch right there, right? Yo. <laughs> Listen, I did I my you. thing, and this is my story, how I stood the test of time, and I'm still here, and I'm not going nowhere. It's only just begun. Strong Island, I represent from NYC to Montauk. I talk the talk, and I walk the walk. I'm showing up with condors and hawks, official killers, great survivor. My town Saheed can't stand funners and liars. Yo, my breed is an ill, multi mix. First off, I'm militant. Second, I'm diligent. Picture me in a dictionary next to resilient. I'm a